I'm gonna try to become that girl. Starting with my fridge, it's giving expiration date. Um, I'm gonna take everything out so I can deep clean. Put most of it in the freezer because it's probably gonna take me a few hours. Pretty sure I can take the shelves out. clean now it's time to fill it back up i got an egg container i feel so fancy this is so extra okay in this container i'm doing strawberries and raspberries this one will have blackberries and blueberries this is so pretty am i on pinterest i can eat a whole bag of cherries in one day so it's getting its own container so i can use it as a plate and grappas these are going on the middle shelf i cut up some watermelon so i'm putting it in this container same thing with pineapple this one's gonna have cut up vegetables to snack on Got this crisper container thing. I don't really know what it does, but I'm putting my greens in it. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was gonna take this much work to become that girl. This is just the fridge. Like, I wasn't ready. Look how aesthetically pleasing this is. Wow. <laughs> Whose fridge is this? Not mine. It's that girl's. It's so beautiful. Now I'm gonna put the juices in separate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Putting the cheese and butter here. Coffee and cream are going on this shelf. This stuff is so good, by the way. It tastes like a banana milkshake. Sauces, Capri Suns will go here because I'm addicted. Almost done. After six hours this is what it looks like and i love it so much this is my favorite part there's so much space it looks like i need to go grocery shopping but i don't next step redecorating my bed spring cleaning part four the pantry viewer discretion advised yeah <laughs> so bad oh i'm gonna start by taking everything out of the pantry and putting it on the counter i knew it i knew we had pepper i kept going to the store to buy more this side of the pantry is done and I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. There's still a whole other side. And I'm done. And it goes on a shelf. Now I'm gonna organize everything. I'm gonna have a pile for keeping and a pile for donating. Now that everything is kind of organized, I'm gonna take this method cleaner and spray the wired shelves down. And we're vacuuming. Now that the cleaning is done, I can start organizing and decorating. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I got this can tracker. It can hold 54 cans. So I'm gonna put this at the bottom shelf and we're gonna start to fill it. This did not make sense to me at first, but now it does, and it's really cool. So you put the can on, and then you just push it, and it aligns with the bottom. How did I not know this existed? That's all of my cans. Now I just have to put things in the buckets and label them. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Spring cleaning part four, the pantry, part three. I got the buckets, and I filled them. Let's put them in. Oh, yeah. I also picked up this really cute woven basket. I'm going to be putting waters in it. Okay, room temperature water or ice cold water is the question. So I bought these chalk labels and a chalk marker, and we're gonna start labeling the gray boxes. A, A, A. <laughs> all done. My favorite is saucin for all the sauces. This is the last one. <gasps> wow! I have a lot more to label, but I want to fill the containers first. I got these cute jars at Walmart for five bucks, and I'm gonna be filling it with flour and sugar. Oh gosh! Here we go. They are so cute. I also got one for cookies. We're gonna be doing chips away for this one. Now I need to find a place for my pre-workout. I'm thinking about emptying that bottom shelf there and then put all the cereal into the containers and label them and then I will be done. I will see you surprisingly really soon. Yo, what up? I'm gonna make a Disney gift basket and give it to someone random. I'm gonna put everything in a backpack, but I can't decide this one or that. Now I'm trying to find the donut ears. It took me an hour, but I found them. Now let's go to Starbucks. Okay, the line's way too long. I'm gonna get this hat. So cute. Lollipop. Beach towel. Why not? Now I'm gonna pick out some pins, you know, start someone's collection. Little Mermaid. Also, there's a duck. Ricky. Star Wars. Mystery pin set. Favorite one of the castle. Look how cute. Little Mermaid. Hand sanitizer. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. I had to get one for me too. Also, I love how I'm just on the floor. This pen. Got this lanyard. Now I'm gonna fill the backpack. This view right here is so aesthetic. Oh Someone to go give this to. Hi! Um, so I'm filming a TikTok where I just made this gift basket and I'm giving it to someone random. So I'm just gonna give this to you. That worked out perfect. She was actually a fan, so that was great. I literally love you if you're watching this. Okay. Grab a bowl. I'm missing a nail. Add in about a half cup of salt, half a cup of flour, and about a fourth of a cup of water. Mix that together. You may need to add a little bit more water, but you're gonna want it to look like this. Set that aside. You can use a cutting board. I'm just using my counter and sprinkle flour all over. F R I E. Now place the salt dough on top. Cover the salt dough with the flour and mix it around for a good minute. When you're done, your dough should be pretty firm. Lay it on your counter and pat it. Grab a rolling pin or a cup if you don't have one and roll out the dough until it's about a half an inch thick. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, now you're going to grab your pet that was just sleeping and you're going to put their paw on it. Just like that. Good girl, you did it. I kind of want to do two. Now I'm going to do one. Good girl. Okay, let's clean your body. Okay, we've decided on two. Really quick, preheat your oven to 200 degrees. Grab a cup, use it as a cookie cutter to cut out the paws. I almost forgot, make a hole at the top, put it on a baking sheet, and bake it for about two hours. I baked mine for an extra hour, now I'm just painting it. Now you know how to make a paw print ornament, let's put it on the tree. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Good job, baby. Deep cleaning my laundry room, part two. It's time for my favorite part. 
First, I'm gonna fill these jars. In the first one, we're doing detergent. I'm gonna try to pour it all at once. Oh my gosh, cross your fingers for me. Oh yeah. The second one is going to hold the laundry booster. I cannot do laundry without this stuff. It makes my clothes smell so, so good. And this one is going to hold scent booster beads. There you go. I used about a fourth of a cup for each one of these, so I'm just gonna stick this into the jar. I found this really cute jar for the laundry sanitizer, so I'm just gonna pour that in. And I'm doing the same for the laundry softener. It kind of looks like milk. I got labels for each of these, so I'm just finishing up the last one. I got this bin. I thought it was perfect to put dryer sheets in. I also got one for kitchen towels. I'm putting these in order of how I use them. So excited! Don't know what I'm gonna put there, but this one's gonna hold my wallflowers. I added this rug, and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and make a giant advent calendar for my sister and niece. Wish me luck. Boxes in the middle and then bags on the side. Now that I have the layout, I'm gonna decorate them and then fill them. I'm gonna start with my nieces. I'm sticking these lollipop things to the back of the poster board. Okay, yes, and that's my sister's. So cute. Now I'm taking these ornaments and hanging them on the side. I wrote one through 12 in silver sharpie and now I'm sticking them onto the bags. I added some bows too. Oh my gosh, time to fill them. My niece loves turtles, so day one is a turtle ornament. And my sister gets a microphone because she loves to sing. Candy canes for day two. Day three, I'm doing bath bombs and a snowman. Oh my gosh. Day four, I found these wallet lanyard things but there's an extra pouch for extra stuff i don't know day five a beauty sponge day six these candles they smell so good i'm gonna have to put extra tape on the bags though chapstick for day seven found these really cute hair ties for day eight and some makeup removing towels for day nine i'm excited for day 10 it's gel pens day 11 is an oreo house but i'm trying to wrap it and necklaces for day 12 <laughs> yo what up let's restock my house and be that girl while doing it cute place for toilet paper i mean gum off scent beads I'm putting my fruit in a sealed container this time. You guys said it would last longer, so I'm gonna try. Raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. Honestly, I never buy these. I just really wanted to do that. Wow. Flour. I always make the biggest mess. It's not even funny. Chunky Chips Ahoy. Microwave them for 10 seconds. Look at this masterpiece. Beautiful. Capri Sun because I'm addicted. Cucumbers. And grop is. Now I'm just restocking the lemons for my lemonade bar. Toilet wand refills. That's it for now. Next I gotta restock my beauty room and clean it because it's a mess. Grab a mini watermelon. Wash it. Cut it in half long ways. Scrape out the watermelon, eat it, or save it for later. Now grab your favorite fruit. If you're using strawberries or kiwis, cut them in smaller pieces. Set that aside, grab a bowl. Okay, wait. Can we admire how aesthetic that looks? Wow. Add in two cups of room temp water, four packets of unflavored gelatin. If you want to, you can add in a half a cup of sugar. Whisk it together until it's dissolved. Now boil two cups of water. When it's done, pour it into the mixture. <laughs> Bless you. Mix it slowly, it should look like this. Once you've added in a handful of each fruit, layer it with the mixture. Don't fill it with fruit all the way so that you can leave a layer of the mixture on top. Uh, don't mind my contraption, but leave it in the fridge overnight. I film my videos in real time and I'm tired, so I will see you tomorrow morning. I love you friend also i think i got gelatin in my belly button i don't know why i'm telling you that yo what up i'm back from disney uh yeah and i also yeah this one's a core memory of all the churros i ate this one looks like a mango which is my favorite fruit the lid opens on this one so i'm doing strawberries because that's all i have kind of cute kind of not dinosaur egg also went to vegas and i found this cup yeah, i love it this one's really cool it's like reflective i didn't even know this one existed but yeah this one is so pretty one of my favorites but i feel like it should have been released during christmas time because don't they look like ornaments just say this is the most aesthetic cup i have it reminds me of that little circle thing. this got this one too i like it more color changing mystery cups and i'm trying to find all five colors i don't have any ice but chicken bakes are working just fine oh my gosh yes the only one i need to find is orange because I got two reds. It's actually not 3 a.m., so I can try these. They're sun activated cups. I don't see an ombre effect, but maybe with a drink in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that does not look like that. But anyway. Yo, what up? I'm going to Coachella. I was invited to Coachella. Like, what is, like me? What is Honey Bow Bear going to do at Coachella? Probably just like stand there, you know? But uh, it's better. I was also invited to the Neon Carnival by DirecTV. So that happened, and I'm so grateful. I'm so excited, and I'm packing right now. It's like 3 a.m., and my flight leaves in four or five hours, so let's pack. I got these packing cubes from Amazon, and I was able to fit six outfits in this one little cube, and then some extra t shirts and sweaters are in this one, but like, gosh, I did it. Now I just have to close. I have overpacked. These are the nails. Yeah. JK, I just had to rearrange. Thank you guys so much. I wouldn't be doing any of this if it weren't for you. I literally never thought I'd see an opportunity like this in real life. It's just insane. I made it to the airport and I'm here with another creator. Let's see if you can guess who it is. Yo, what up? I'm going to try to make an aesthetic hot chocolate bar. I just not understand. 
How I love how it's 11 at night now. First, I'm putting up LED lights. They make everything look good. I'm gonna use this laptop stand. Now I'm gonna fill the pop jars. First one's gonna have these cute marshmallow toppers. They melt into your hot chocolate. It's so good. Snowman ones too. Next, hot chocolate stirs. I didn't even know this was a thing. I also got them in spoon form. Hot chocolate bombs. I'm trying to make a back and forth pattern so it looks better. And these, not sure what they are, but they're really good. These are going in the back. I found Starbucks hot chocolate powder at Home Goods. And I'm gonna put them in these jars. I don't have a funnel, so I'm hoping that this works. I'm using a white chalk marker to label them. Toffee bits, crushed candy cane, and more marshmallows. What do we think? I just made it. This was a 3 a.m. purchase, but they'll be on my Amazon page. I'm adding this thing I made and some cow straws, you know? Oh, why do I feel like crying right now? But <laughs> it's just a hot chocolate bar. It's so cute. Yo, what up? I'm in a hurry, but I'm gonna try and decorate before I hit a million subscribers on YouTube. Starting with the cake, I'm just scraping this off. Same with this one. I didn't have time to bake a cake. Put buttercream in a bowl, and now I'm adding food color. Now I'm gonna spread it on the cake. I don't know what I'm doing. Put these red sprinkles all over. I already messed up. Fine everything's fine we're just gonna go fast this is so cute now i'm gonna carefully add white glitter on top i'm doing one more cake and it's gonna have these sprinkles pink border and i'm using fondant for the eyes and mouth can't believe i just pulled that off these are so cute especially this one anyways it's in my mom's house this is what we have so far i'd be here till 3 a.m so i brought some snacks this one's gonna have m and okay. that was so loud this one's gonna have different types of chips now john's gonna help me put the numbers on the cake chocolate chips and about a fourth of a cup of peanut butter mix it i'm not trying to make anything gourmet so we're gonna use the microwave mix every 15 seconds until it's melted i'll grab a pan and line it with parchment paper and pour the chocolate in this one is a 7 by 11 spread that evenly and freeze it for about 20 minutes grab another bowl add in one cup of powdered sugar one cup of marshmallow fluff oh my god and one fourth cup of peanut butter mix it i just used my hands and it should feel like dough when you're done put it on top of the first layer and even it out now take some peanuts and layer that on top Gently press them in. Set that aside and grab about a cup of soft caramel. Melt it in your microwave and mix every 15 seconds. Once it's melted, spread it on top as fast as you can and then push it in. The last layer is the same as the first one. One cup of chocolate chips, one fourth cup peanut butter, and melt it. Whee! Okay, almost... Almost dropped that. Put it in your freezer for 20 minutes. Cut them up and now you know how to make homemade Snickers. Let's try them. Okay, here we go. Resetting my entire house part seven. Now I'm gonna restock the guest bathroom. The bathroom's really small, so I'm gonna put everything in these acrylic drawers and make a guest bath cart. On the first shelf, I'm doing shampoo and conditioner. A lot of few different kinds because I wanted them to have options, you know. Lastly, hair masks. Next shelf is gonna hold these cute mini razors. Oh my gosh. Shave cream and body wash. Last shelf has bath fish, sugar cubes, and loofahs. I don't know. Almost forgot. Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Bobo. Now I'm gonna fill the drawers. This one's gonna be for skincare. Mini micellar water. Oh my. Is it micellar water? Cleanser, serums, and moisturizer. In the back, I'm doing face rollers, wax kits, mighty patches, and cleansing balls. Top ones for extra washcloths. This one's for hair. Got some extra brushes, bobby pins, and hair ties. This one's body slash hair, so I have some deodorant. Running out of time. Lotion, Olaplex, dry shampoo, chapstick, toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, cloth. Also made a manicure bin. That's basically it. Next, I'm gonna try and organize my pantry. It's really bad, so I don't know if it's gonna work. This is one of my 3 a.m. purchases. This is already, I feel like this is gonna be a series. It's such a problem. But I'm gonna try and make a breakable heart. I bought some colored chocolate. I'm gonna start out with these black sprinkles and I need to figure out a way to make swirls. I'm moving them around with this popsicle stick and I think that's good enough. I bumped it. Let me try this again. Now I'm gonna melt the chocolate. I'm doing pink, white, purple, and blue. I'm mixing them after every 30 seconds until they melt. I'm so excited. I hope this works. So I'm going to put some white over here. And now the blue. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just putting it in random spots. Now we have pink. I'm just going to kind of throw it around. Now I'm just going to cover everything else in the purple. Like that. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I'm kind of regretting this decision. Let's just hope this comes out okay. <laughs> but at this point, all I can do is trust the process. I'm going to leave it in the fridge overnight to make sure it completely hardens. I will see you in the morning for part two. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases, but for my new house. First, Hazel's new bed. It's a flower. It's so cute. I also got matching food bowls. You can take them off the stand, but I'm going to leave them out. This gumball machine, I don't know. A mini portal mirror. I'm going to put this on my entryway table. Balloon dog with a balloon poop. <laughs> Bought two. Checkered blanket. It's really soft, and it's going on my new couch. Steven, a.k.a. Benson in plush four. This rug from Lonely Ghost. If you're watching this, by the way, I love you. Also, everything before this rug is on Amazon. I'll link it on my storefront. This candle from Target by Tabitha Brown. It's so beautiful, and it smells amazing. Urban Outfitters cutting board. I'm getting a massive cutting board out just for one orange, so this will be good. More cloud pillows from Amazon. Amazon, they're so soft. This mushroom cup, also from Urban. A bubble maker and all of that. I'm still trying to become that girl. I can't be that girl without a houseplant, so I'm gonna try and plant one. First, I have to make the pot look cute, so I'm doing blue. It looks like a sky, right? Now I'm gonna try and add clouds. What is that? Fake clouds are better. So cute, the little clouds. Okay, so now I have to put in the potting mix. I don't know what I'm doing. 
I can't decide on what seeds I want to plant. Do I do the mystery flowers from the Billie Eilish concert? Or do I go pro and do veggies from Coachella? JK, not a mystery. It says wildflower. I'm supposed to soak these overnight, so I'll be I feel like an hour is good enough. I'm going to put that on top. Wish this came with instructions. I'm going to pour more potting soil on top. Just a little. I found this water bottle by Urban Outfitters, so now I'm just filling. There's a hole at the bottom, and I've just been staying. Figured that out. Uh, this is so cute. Okay, so now I'm watering it. Like, actually, it's Hazel's plant. She's still trying to become that dog. Anyways, now we wait. I don't think I did this right, but if you want an update, Instagram. Okay, bye. I'm still trying to become that girl, and I can't be that girl with dirty makeup brushes, so let's clean Norgan. Them. I got some new makeup brush holders and they just make sense. They have a lid. Yay, no more dust. Okay, let's go wash my nasty makeup brushes. I'm gonna use this because I can't find my baby shampoo and I'm pouring it into this bowl. It's been two hours. I'm halfway done and I'm on the floor. <laughs> Yay, I'm done. I'm gonna let those dry. I'm gonna use my old beads because the new ones look kind of yellow. Everything is pretty much dry and I organized it by color. I'm doing smaller brushes on that side and bigger ones over here. I'm hoping I don't need a third one. Oh my, I've never, what? <laughs> These are so nice. Let me close the lid. Like, whose makeup brushes are these? They're that girl's. I'm still trying to become that girl, and I can't be that girl without a sick day routine, so let's plan one out. I'm gonna start by setting up my nightstands. This kind of looks like a lava lamp. Found this cute jar. I'm filling it with honey sticks and cough drops. Can't forget the normal water. That side's done. Now I'm gonna fill my humidifier on this side. This jar is gonna be for a whole bunch of random stuff, like an eye mask, hair tie, chapstick, my inhaler, moisturizer, and this hair clip. Tissue and a trash can. Now that everything is set up, I'm gonna take a bath and shower. I'm just making some tea and I cut up some oranges for a snack. Okay, finally. Now I'm just gonna hang out in my room. I brought this table up for my laptop and write down video ideas. Just put this in the microwave, it's so nice. That's basically it. I don't know what else people do when they're sick, but. Also, if you're wondering where anything is from, I put it all on my Amazon, except this. This is from Urban Outfitter. Anyways, if you're feeling sick, I hope you feel better. Love you. Resetting my entire house part nine. Just kidding, I'm moving. First, I'm gonna pack my Starbucks cups. I can't wait to show you my new place. Anyways, here's my box. There may not be a good idea, but I'm taking the straws off so I can lay them in the box like that. Now I'm gonna put this paper on top. I have to hurry so I'm not here till 3 a.m. So please enjoy the day tomorrow. Bye, honey. Boo. I'm gonna keep the keychains in this container. That didn't work, so I put them in here. How to get a second box? Also, how do I pack the straws? Found a basket with the lid, so I'm putting them in here. I might as well put these in there too. I wrap the glass ones in foam and I'm done. Oh my god. Yeah, so I have to pack my entire house, so I'll see you in part two. Organizing my makeup and skincare, I kind of just put everything on the floor so I can start fresh. I have an idea of what's going in each drawer, but I don't know how I'm gonna organize it, so let's see what I come up with. This drawer is going to be my lip and lash drawer. I've been waiting so long to unbox these and put these on display. I got these frosted trays from Target and I'm using them to organize my lip glosses. You know those lashes that you can wash and reuse a couple of times? I never know what to do with them after the first use. At Home Goods, I found this pack of three trays that come with the lid and I'm just gonna store them in here. This is what the front of the drawer looks like. I still can't believe that Too Faced sent me my first makeup PR box. <laughs> Storing all of my makeup palettes in this drawer and I'm gonna organize them by using these palette organizer things. I'm putting the most aesthetically pleasing palettes in the front and instead of having them stand up like this, I'm using this container to hold them at a slanted angle. And as you can see, I have an addiction to BoxyCharm. Well, this is what the front looks like. But how am I already out of time? I just talk too much. Let's be real, I'll probably end up finishing this around 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, so I'll see you in part 2. You know what up, I should be packing, but I'm gonna make an ice cream and soda bar instead. First I'm filling the sprinkles, this one's gonna be pink. I'll crack the flamingo sprinkles, so I'm mixing those in too. Next, yellow and yellow stars. Purple, green, blue, and some flowers. This one's my favorite. So cute, oh my gosh. And orange. I'm gonna put them on top of this clear tray. This is gonna be so cute. Now I'm gonna fill the bigger containers. This one's gonna have some granola, sour punch straws, and the last one's gonna hold the ice cream cones. Now I'm gonna put the sodas in these organizers. I got these syrups at Starbucks and they gave me pumps. I'm running out of time, clear shelves. Dried fruit. Well, I tried, I'll see you in part two. And then I'll pack my pantry, which I really don't want to. I'm putting it probably gonna take me hours but i'm gonna try to make a glow-in-the-dark starbucks cup so i'm putting tape in the cup so the glitter doesn't go everywhere this is glow-in-the-dark glitter you can get it on amazon or michael's oh my god i'm just gonna do the whole bottle because why not now i'm gonna make the snow globe mixture it's one third cup elmer's glue and two thirds cup of water i'm just putting it in the squeeze bottle now we're gonna finna mix this up okay here we go oh, i think i used too much glitter and everything clumped together it's gonna me hours to wash this out so i'm gonna work on another one in the meantime i'm just hoping this one doesn't clump because it's really cute sealed the hole with a cabinet bumper you can get them at target i heard the best way to seal it is with resin i don't know what i'm doing i'm just gonna pour it on top <laughs> the resin takes a day to set let me show you the potential this cup has i'm gonna buy some more glitter to fix this so i will see you tomorrow why do i shop at 3 a.m here's another one of my 3 a.m purchases this one's good though right now my collection is hidden behind these cabinets so i got these clear floating wall shelves a whole bunch of them so i can display them <laughs> I'm also putting neon lights on these. It's gonna be so cute. Lighting is so bad in here. Okay, so this is the wall and I already put a shelf up. Oh, I'm 
so sad. Long story short, I can't put up the rest of the shelves. Plan B, I got this at Lowe's for $30. Yes, but it did take me three hours to build. So hopefully this works. gosh it's so cute don't mind the holes in the wall i gotta patch them i'm gonna throw all my cups on here so i can get an idea of what it's gonna look like <laughs> can't wait to sort everything i'm probably gonna color code and my lights will be here in about a day or two so i will see you in part two. Oh my god i'm gonna try to paint these baby pumpkins i have all the colors for each design i'm gonna do so yeah wish me luck this one's gonna be cute just wait i don't have a blow dry okay first one done that one took forever to dry so i'm gonna do the first layer on all of them first this one's green yellow white this one's tan light purple and another green couldn't help it i finished the culprit one now i'm working on this one it has stars on it now i'm doing this abstract smiley face one i don't know if it's gonna look good but it's my favorite one what? now i'm gonna work on this one. Oh yeah i did that don't know how i feel about it but think about it i am the only one in the universe at this exact angle at this is exact moment i'm just redoing this one I regret doing that oh my gosh don't mind that one but the rest of those like i would separate them and put them all around my house but they just belong together you know why i haven't posted in two days it's because of these so bye Part three, I wish I could scream. I'm so excited. Finally gonna decorate and restock everything, starting with my DIY bath car. For the first shelf, I'm filling two jars with lavender and eucalyptus foaming bath. Next shelf is gonna hold bath flowers and I'm putting them in these cute little jars. Also, I put sugar cubes in this jar and that's going in the middle. Last shelf is holding cow print face masks, white bath bombs, and then this. I thought they were fake roses, but it's actually soap. <laughs> find cloud shaped bath mats so i'm gonna make my own i can do this i just cut it in half now i have to make those two look like that Oof, ta -da. now i'm gonna wash them and see what happens how does that work i thought it was gonna fall apart in the washer but it didn't oh normal house and then bam portal last thing i have to do is restock my shower shelves normal shelves and my drawers i'll see you in part four and no it won't take three days this time yo what up i hope my mom doesn't see this but it's her birthday and i'm last minute again so what i have so far a makeup brush holder with a lid and some makeup just got back from sephora got her one of my favorite shampoo and conditioners this hair mask mom's hair is blonde so i also got her the purple shampoo and conditioner this lip butter so good scalp massager Too Faced came out with this recently so she's gonna try it's going on a trip so i want to find her a makeup bag let's try here i hate going to that location they're always so rude what did i do anyways i found a makeup bag it's really cute I found this mini flower bouquet time for the pinch and shake method i don't know it just always works hey not bad for last minute i think she'll like it hopefully Part two, I'm gonna fill these with dried fruit. First, strawberry, banana, raspberry, blueberry, mango, and cherries. I'm gonna put them on these shelves I got off Amazon. I'm gonna put everything on my Amazon storefront, by the way. Anyways, let's fill these. This one's gonna have crushed Oreos. This one's gonna have chocolate chips. You can twist these and everything comes out so easy. That's why my favorite toppings are in them. Putting the chocolate and caramel drizzle up here. Put some tea down here. Now I'm gonna put the sprinkles in rainbow order. OG approved, except that's pink. Lastly, I put these lollipops in this mushroom cup. Now let's make some soda and ice cream. This is my favorite thing I've ever made. Too bad I have to pack it up. And I have to pack my pantry because I got my keys to my new place. So yeah, I have to hurry. Resetting my entire house part four. I got a desk. What? Way better than my bed. I'm going to be so productive. Since I have no drawers, I got these from Target. And I'm going to use them to organize everything. Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Papa. <laughs> this one's going to hold highlighters. Gel pens. Last one is for editing. It's going to hold batteries, SD cards, headphones. So I just put my desk in this room. Now I'm going to decorate the wall. The lighting is so bad in here, but it's so cute so far. And I put that up. Fast forward, I added lights. I stacked these two because I thought it would look better. And now I'm adding a plan. I usually have my to-do list on my phone, but I thought this was so cute. I got it off Amazon. That's going right there. Lastly, an ice cream candle. I'm going to be so productive, hopefully. Next up, I'm restocking my mini fridge. Grab some juice. I chose watermelon water. Pour one cup into a measuring cup. Grab some drink enhancer, you can get this at Walmart. Pour in about half a teaspoon. Pour the mixture into a pot. Turn to medium heat. Let it sit for five minutes, then take it off of the stove. Pour the mixture back into the measuring cup. Grab one ounce of unflavored gelatin, which is four packs, you can get this at Walmart. Grab a fork and stir. Grab some molds, they don't have to be shaped like this. I got these off of Amazon and it comes with a little pipette. Grab your pipette and start filling up the molds. Last few, I'm so excited. Grab your molds and put them into the fridge for three hours. See you in three hours. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. I don't even know what Stony Clover Lane is, but I saw an ad for it before it dropped and I had to go get it because I mean, come on. First this cooler, yeah. Stella, you need me. And that's why I bought it. Dog toy leash and bandana for Hazel. Okay, hold on. I think she likes it. This cute paddle set. I found these patches and duffel bag. I'm gonna put them on right now. Here we go, I guess you just stick them on. Oh my gosh. Wait. Now I'm doing cherries for the fifth time. I can't get it centered. I feel like it's, I think I got it. I don't know. But anyways, I got this bag too. It's so cute. Next, this clear backpack and a beach bag. Sandals and a beach towel. Lastly, these cups. The straws are heart shaped and I got a charm set. I feel like I need a new routine. I can't keep doing this. I understand how the time changes so fast. Like, I feel like I've only been standing here for a minute. That's probably my sign to go to bed. Let's restock my mini fridge, but first I gotta clean it because... I'm gonna use Scotch Brite's Advanced Scrub Dots non-scratch scrubbers and some soap and water to give it a good deep clean. I dropped chamoy paste, so it's super sticky, but look how easy it is to clean. And then use the other side, and it's gone. Literally, like, what? 
first I'm using Scotch Brite's one step disinfectant and cleaner. It literally does five things all at once. So much better. Now let's stock it. Water, Starbucks caramel macchiato, and pomegranate juice, blackberries, and pomegranate seeds, brappas, pickles, Capri Sun. That's basically it. It's so clean. Also, if you want to try one step in the advanced scrub dots, you can find them at Amazon or Walmart. Resetting my entire house, part six. This is so bad. Got new shelves, so first I gotta build those. Also, I just took everything down. It's so dusty. <laughs> Three days later, and the shelves are done. I can easily distract. Now I'm putting up this rope plate. I'm trying to make it look like paint trips, but it keeps falling. I'm gonna have some patching to do when I leave. I didn't do it everywhere, by the way. It just did little dots here and there. Now I'm putting lights behind the shelves in a zigzag pattern. Um, what? Hold on. Okay, it's real. Time to put all the cups back. This is gonna take me forever. I should probably dust these. Okay, so I color coded everything. <laughs> Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Bubble Bear. This is the best thing I've ever reset. It looks like a store. I could cry right now. Like when Next, I'm restocking the guest bathroom. Nobody's coming over, but I really want to do it. One more thing. Part two, I got different color tape for all the boxes. This room's going to be pink, and I've already done that side, so I just need this one. I have a feeling I'm going to be here till 3 a.m. Oh, well. First drawer done. This is kind of sad, but I can't wait to set everything up in the new place. I'm putting all the loose lip glosses in this container. I'm so proud of myself. I got rid of a lot of palettes I don't use. These are mine, and I kept a pile for my sister. One day I'll wash my makeup brushes, but for now I'm throwing them in here. Okay, I'm almost done. I just need the workout drawer. Do I just skip this and start my pantry? Yes, no, yes, no. See you in part three. Part two, let's stock the mini fridge. First, I'm filling the mini bottles. Pomegranate juice, I'm probably going to spill everything. Coconut water. Last four with just water. I'm going to put these on the bottom shelf. Now for the fruit, I'm doing raspberries and blackberries. Baby Bell cheese, Lunchables, and Gogurt on the side. I found these snack containers at Target, and I'm just filling them with grapes. I bought four more, so I'm just filling them with chocolate. Can't forget Capri Sun, because I'm addicted. I've never had these, so hopefully they're good. Pickle Ricks, these are the best. I found this really cool looking soda. Strawberry applesauce. And watermelon hints. Okay, this is so worth it. It's so cute. Okay, this one is going to blow your mind. Grab a bowl. Fill the bowl up with warm water. You'll need four pumps of kitchen lemon soap. It has to be kitchen lemon. It can't be any other scent. Then pour in just a little bit of detergent. That much. Then pour in two tablespoons of Himalayan pink salt. Add in two tablespoons of baking soda. Almost done. Stay with me. You'll need a little bit of honey. Stir. It should look something like this. Now put in flowers or flower petals. So it looks like this. This is what it looks like from this side. Last thing, open up a tea bag. Like, legit open it and pour what's inside in. Stir. Now this is the important part. Put it in the fridge and wait 24 hours. Kiss your cat. Walk your dog. Take it out. And see that it makes absolutely nothing. But follow me if I got you. Deep cleaning my bathroom part two. It's time to put the product back in. The first shelf is gonna hold shampoo and conditioner. I'm trying out this new brand. I've heard really good things about it and it smells amazing. It also comes with a body wash and lotion. I'm also gonna try out this brand. I love their hair mask, so I decided to get the shampoo and conditioner. The second shelf is gonna hold body scrubs. I fell in love with these. I didn't even know about them until I started binge watching shower routines, so thank you. I feel like I have to talk so fast. Tree Hut, Tropical Mango, and Vitamin C. Mm. This is the mask I'm talking about. I always talk up on these because I feel like it should be sold out. I've always had an issue with split ends and rough hair because I straighten my hair all the time. But this mask seals those up and it makes your hair feel so healthy and so smooth. Also, this is not sponsored. I just love this stuff. You can get it at Target if you want to try it. I'm putting my scalp massager on top. The next shelf is going to hold more exfoliating products like this KP Bump Eraser. A coffee scrub. This shimmer scrub. I don't know. Sugar scrub cubes. If you want a nice clean shave and you want to smell good, this. I also got the razor. If you haven't tried this, it's amazing for washing upstairs and downstairs. Just not underneath the stairs, if you know what I mean. Yes. And yes. Wow, I still have my after shower shelf to fill. I'll see you in part three. Part two, I just put these up. They're a little loose, but oh well. Now I'm putting LED lights pretty much everywhere, starting with the sink and around the mirror. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna finish the ceiling. Starting on the shower now, I got these acrylic shelves from Amazon. They're so cute. Also found matching hooks. I'm putting them on this side to hold my loofah and razor. Back to the shelves, I forgot I got these. Okay, what? How is this my bathroom right now? Since my bathroom is pretty small, showering is even worse, so I bought a curved shower curtain rod. Hopefully, it'll make it feel bigger. For my shower curtain, I was going to use this cow print one, but when I put it up, it made my bathroom look so small, so instead, I'm using a clear shower curtain liner with these curtain lights. Wow, that's different. Okay, these are waterproof, by the way. It's 4 a.m., by the way. That's what it looks like with the lights off. Terrible. I like it better with the white shower curtain, but the outside is one thing. The inside is a whole experience. I have so much space now. Look at me. I'm crying at 4 a.m. because I love it so much. All I have to do now is fill with product, make a DIY bath cart, fill my drawers. I'll see you in part three. Grab some strawberries. 
wash them, cut them, grab some raspberries and do the same thing. Add some honey, I like to do two tablespoons. Lastly, add a quarter of a lemon. Now blend everything together. Make sure your consistency is thick, you don't want it to be runny. Grab a pan and line it with parchment paper. Grab your mixture and spread it onto your pan. So it should look something like this. Preheat your oven to its lowest setting. Mine goes down to 170. Now put it in your oven and bake it for three hours. See you guys in two hours and 58 minutes. Part two, I bought clay. You guys told me to get sandpaper, so I did, and it's so smooth. Finally done, now I'm just cleaning it. Tape is on, now I'm gonna paint the whole thing white. I'm only worried about the clay part. Wait, this looks so good. Do I use the clay? Yes, no, yes, no. Should I use the clay? I need to move the mirror, so I'm gonna trace a line around it. Oh, well, there's no going back now. Okay, okay, the first rope is done. Now I have to shape it to the black line. If this actually works, I didn't take ceramics for nothing. Oh my gosh, okay, Kelly, okay. I'm gonna let this dry and then somehow pick it up and put it on the mirror. What color do I paint this? I was thinking this one, but no, I don't know. I'll see you in part three. Resetting my entire house part five. Now I'm gonna restock the mini fridge. First, I'm filling the mini bottles. Pomegranate cherry juice. This stuff is so good. Next, water. These ones are glass and they're a little bit taller, so I'm just gonna put it in. For fruit, I'm doing mango. Blackberries, raspberries, lastly strawberries. I love fruit. I'm putting these on the bottom shelf. It looks so good. Next, Lunchables, Capri Sun, Yogurt, yeah. Baby Bell Cheese, Coffee. I'm filling the smaller ones with jelly beans. Oh, and chocolate eggs. I didn't know what else to put in here, but this looks good. Next step, I'm organizing my cup collection because it's so bad. Yo, what up? I'm trying this again. This time I'm doing a Halloween theme. I'm putting tape around the edges so the glitter doesn't go everywhere. I'm gonna try and do a green and black ombre, so wish me luck. First layer done, now I'm mixing green and black. I'm on the last layer, this looks so cool. I just discovered something, so if you go like this, it makes these little swirls. Oh my god. I wanna seal them at the same time, so I'm working on the orange one now. I'm so excited. To seal the hole, I'm using cabinet bumpers. I have my nail lamp, now I'm pouring UV resin on the top, like that, kind of. It says to leave it on for 60 seconds, so I'm just gonna lay it on the top like that and kind of balance it, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, dude. They're so cute. I'm gonna reset my whole bathroom. Well, I'm gonna try. I'm turning it into a glow spot. First, I'm taking everything out. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna cry. I wasn't ready for this bucket. <laughs> new year, new me. Now it's time for the aesthetic part of the video. It is so echoey in here. Okay, this spray is broken. I'm trying to make this look aesthetic, but it's not working out. That took me 10 hours. That is not okay. But at least I'm done, kind of. I still have the decorate. Got a new shower head, by the way. This is not it. It's this one I'm so excited because it has mist. But anyways, this is everything I'm going to decorate with, so I'll see you in part two. I can explain. Question mark. Walked into Target, and there they were. So I found these keychains. And the matching cups. I found the mid one. The jelly pink one. I'm actually going to use it and not put it on display. And dark green. Look how cute they all are. Also, the keychain's actually open. Look at this. I can't believe I found this one. It's the prettiest cup I have. This one reminds me of Barney, but it's really cute. Water bottle. They did such a good job. I love it so much. The swirls. I got this one because it looks like it's glowing, and I thought that was cool. Found the mint puffy cup. It's so cute. And these two. I love this one because it's matte. They did so good. This is my favorite round of cups so far. I want to design a cup so bad, but I'll keep dreaming. Let's restock my fridge as that girl. First, water. Filling two of these with cucumber. This one with limon. This is so aesthetic reality. You got some trash? Just dump it at my house. Next, Capri Sun. Pacific Cooler. Friggin' oatmeal. Well, this is awkward. It's turning into a pantry restock. Halloween cookies. So good. Granola. Oh my God. Do you guys like that? <laughs> these are for my refresher bar. We have blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. Cute container for lemons. I know this is not food, but I might as well. Could go on and pretend this is all I have to restock, but there's so much more. <laughs> I'm still trying to become that girl, and I can't be that girl without a body skin care routine, so let's plan one out. This is everything I'm going to use. First step, dry brushing. I always brush towards the heart, and this is the best for exfoliating. Next step, a body wash that has skincare ingredients in it, like collagen and vitamin B3 complex. My favorite is Olay's Collagen Body Wash. It always makes my skin feeling super soft and hydrated, and it smells good. Body conditioner. Time for lotion. Olay now has a matching collagen body lotion that includes all the same skincare ingredients as the body wash. Since using it, my skin is visibly firmer and more radiant and it smells amazing. There's no greasy residue, which is amazing. I just feel fresh after using it. And that's it. It's a pretty simple routine since these products already have amazing skincare ingredients in them. I'm still trying to become that girl, but I can't be that girl without a cute room. First, I gotta build this. It's 10 p.m. by the way. I'm gonna cry. Good morning, kind of fell asleep. This is what I have so far. Okay, we might have a problem. Okay, Kelly, come on. It'll be easier if I move the bed frame. Right? Closer. Yeah. Hope this doesn't break the bed. Yeah! I'm putting LED lights under the bed. Now that I have a giant marshmallow, I'm gonna add the pillows. Oh 
anyway this is what i have for the room so far so much more i need to do like a whole other side i also need to redo this mirror because it broke so yeah i'll see you in that video part two i'm gonna try to make spackle art for the wall above my bed should i do this in the garage yes no yes covered the couch so it's fine i hope drew up my design so i don't mess up now i'm supposed to mix this hope i don't mess this up okay it's flat it's actually really fun okay, now i'm gonna use this to make the wave i almost fell on this corner i'm gonna hurry and do the top now I feel like i'm decorating a cake okay this will turn white when it dries i'm gonna work on the second one now Let's look past the dump site I just made and look how cute these are. <laughs> now I'm gonna let them dry before I paint them, so yeah, I'll be right back. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. Well, if you only have one bag this time, and that's because all the other cups were not it, but this one, how cute it is. Oh my gosh, it's my new favorite. I know I say that a lot, but okay, this one, it looks normal, right? Bam, portal. <laughs> I was craving peeps, and then I don't know what happened after that. Inflating. I love peeps. I'm gonna cry. Mostly because it's almost 4 a.m., but still, it's so cute. Pretty sure it goes outside, but I'm gonna keep it in my living room. Anyways, I got a desk and a few things for it, so I'm gonna be setting that up next, so I will see you tomorrow. Part two, resetting my room. I'm actually proud of myself. It's been worse. I'm gonna start with the obvious issue. Well, at least I can see my floor now. I'm gonna clear off the nightstands now. This is my favorite part. Ew. Now I'm gonna clear off my bed and put some new sheets on. done now i'm putting everything back um i forgot about the floor this is so bad it's so clean next step decluttering and redecorating my dump site i mean my bathroom here's another one of my 3 a.m purchases i literally suck at camping because i bring things like this but it's fine how is it almost 4 a.m i have to hurry and stock this next graham crackers please enjoy this asmr by honey Papa Bear. I didn't know how else to organize the marshmallows, so I'm putting them in these Ziploc bags. Look how perfect these fit in here. Ready? I also got this. It's supposed to help you make the perfect s'more, so that's gonna go on the side. Yep, that's basically it. My camping trip also just got canceled. Good thing I got a s'mores roast. Mm -hmm. Yo, what up? I'm gonna restock my entire house, starting with laundry. Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Pop Bear. <laughs> Next, fabric softener. Laundry sanitizer. These are so cute. They're from Target, by the way. Oh, I tried. Next, I'm restocking my fridge. So excited. It's finally full. My mom and I wait all year long just to redecorate for it together. And I'm going over today, and I thought it'd be super cute to surprise her with a fall gift basket and some Starbucks to get her in the mood. He's all want to see grandma? I got us pumpkin spice lattes because that's our favorite. Here's the gift basket. I got her a gift card, so she's all set on pumpkin spice lattes. And bath bombs, caramel popcorn, this cute Starbucks cup. And a little toy for her puppies. Are you excited to decorate? Mm-hmm. I got a pack, I got a pack for the sunshine. Not anymore. Walking it out. Amazon plus seven days of deals. Hmm. I'm preparing water. Check. Comfy clothes and blanket. Check. Cheese balls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This isn't exact, but it's going to do the same thing. Ah, yeah. Saw the original video. Genius! Now I want to try it. So I got one. Yep. Okay. Ooh, I got to take those pictures down. Oh my gosh. It's raining. This looks so real. What? I can sit here forever. Wow. Wow. Ah! I'm just kidding. I knew it was coming. A lot creeping through my window.